Hi everyone, I'm Edwin. Welcome to my YouTube channel as we discuss here the step-by-step -step tutorial and source code tips. Our topic for today is job order with delivery receipt monitoring with PDF report in AppSheet application. This is the database for job order and delivery receipt monitoring with PDF report in AppSheet application. First table is the customer with column code name address code name code name is a combination of column code and name here next table is jo with column jo number customer jo date jo target date stock code jo quantity unit of measure price status remarks image pickup quantity dr quantity balance Pickup quantity is a summation of pickup quantity per JO. Also, the DR quantity is a summation of quantity of DR per JO. The balance quantity is the difference between pickup versus DR quantity. Next table is pickup with column ID. Pickup number, pickup date, JO number, customer, pickup quantity, remarks. Next column is DR, uh, ID column, DR number, DR date, JO number, customer, DR quantity, price, amount, remarks. The customer and the price will. Uh, automatic based on the information set in JO and the co amount is a formula of their quantity and price next table is system setting with column code and value we use this in the report extraction and then next is the table of view report with column report name JO and URL link. We use this in viewing for report in the app sheet. Uh, the next two is a report. Uh, it's not a table. Uh, we have a report tally sheet and statement of account per JO. In tally sheet report, there's a company name that pointing in the system setting the tal sheet and this is the JO that look up in the view report here so if we change it to value one change here this is the detail for pickup and this is the detail for DR for a specific JO and this information also will pick up in the JO information the, the JO quantity, the stock, and the balance balance is the formula of this one and this one pick up minus DR if you notice uh, we use the formula in the query we select First in here in the table JO here JOA two to I and we select the F for the quantity the E for stock F for quantity E for stock there display there and then we use the where condition the A because A is the column for JO here then display this one because we set the letter F and the letter E and here in the pickup we use the function query we get in the table pickup A2 to G and then we select the column C for the date B for pickup number 
F for the quantity. And the uh, column D is where the JO. Then we use the word condition for the JO number here, C4. And the next is the TR. From the, we query in the table of DR, A to 2G. And then select state and uh, for column C for date, B for DR number, F for quantity. B C F DR quantity and this is the only our summation for the quantity of pickup sum of D9 to D and this is our sum of DR H9 to H there so if you change the value of JO number here change it to two it will change all the d the detail here next is the SOE report so the concept also the same we have a parameter for JO that look up in the table figure report P3 we change it to support to B2 JO002 we'll change the detail so total amount it's only a summation for F9 to F, this one. Quantity is a mission of D9 to D. So, so is the query same as in tally tal sheet? The call, the information of your quantity and the stock based on the geo number. Here is the query for detail of statement of account per JO we get in the table of DR select letter C date B for DR number F for quantity G for price H for amount here DR B F quantity G for price, H for amount. So this is the uh, we use formula to have a detail for this report. And we go back to the system setting. In system setting, we keep here the URL link for downloading. PDF of Google Sheet. Uh, uh, this is how we do it for tally sheet. We get this URL link, copy, then we change the code of this one, the edit sharp to export question mark format equal pdf ampersand the gid to download it to pdf for the tally sheet if you try this link will download the tally sheet report same in same also in SOA per JO so for downloading 
uh, Google Sheet to PDF. Just change the, just put this code, export question mark, format equal to PDF, and the GDID for the specific tab of the Google Sheet. In the app sheet application, uh, in the data, we create a table customer, DR, JO, pickup, system setting, view report. So here, the table, the column for customer, this a row number, code name, ad address, code name related jails, related pickups, related DR by customer. So, table JO. The customer reference for the rep and the uh, status UOM is set the value new beep close cancel for dr uh, for dr here so the customer it's automatic we, change, we depends on the value of jo we look up there and we put the value of customer on Also in the price, based on jail. Jail is reference from jail. For pickup, the customer is reference to jail also look up so the geo number is a reference to geo table the system setting code and value there's a row number view report column for report name jo as reference to jo pdf file the url in the ux we create the dr pickup jo and report And also as reference there, the in main you know, menu view, the customer and the system setting here. This is the UX for the app sheet, the JO, the pickup, the DR, the report, customer and system setting. So here in the report. For the tally sheet, let's change it to GL2. You need to wait to sync so that the pro the proper data there will, will come up. Then let's click this one. The tally sheet for GL2. Let's try to other report. The SOA. Let's change to GL2. Let's wait to sync the data. So that the proper data in report will come up. Then let's click this. See, 
here's the GL2 so this is the way how to make a report to PDF in AppSheet you have to make a link and then just click it and then it will download the PDF based on the Google Sheet that we create please subscribe to my channel and like my video thanks for watching